I have done it. I said I wasn't going to do it, but I've done it. I've touched the sliders. It is a, not a last ditch effort, but it is an effort to try and curb some of the flaws with my performance in the net and maybe with the gameplay, maybe try to just get it as balanced as possible. Should we, I think we're on, I'm going to check and you can see it in real time as I check this. I'm pretty sure we're on, uh, we're on pro difficulty. I'm going to go to all-star for this. I am. I, we're at six minute period length. I didn't think we were at six minutes. But anyway, I think we feel like the periods are longer this year. But anyway, we're going to go into this game against the Jackets and we're going to try this slider set out. I took this off of Operation Sports EA NHL Forum. If you want to find it there, uh, it's the one called... Uh, what is it called? It's called Super Goalies. Be a pro all-star NHL 23 sliders. Players and goalie. So if you want to find it, that's where it is. Oh, the anthem. I have yet to get the thing with the glow sticks. I haven't seen that intro yet. So much for a presentation overhaul. Am I right? Anyway, uh, what, speaking of overhauls, we have overhauled the slider set. So we're going to stick with the whatever camera we've been using for this series the 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 um fixed camera i think it's called the fixed camera sticking with that all-star difficulty back up again but custom slider set did you see that shot get rimmed around on the miss look at the hurricane setting up something has definitely changed that slider set has made a big difference already so yes, we got the Blue Jackets in the cannon jersey. A nice action style save to start the game off on Gus Nyquist. And another one with the glove here. You can have that real fast. Brett Pesci on the breakout, the Tara Bynan. New sliders, new vibes. Good vibes only, hopefully. Oh, you have no idea, no idea the headache I went through to get this recording started. My computer, it's not my computer, it's game capture. It's the, it's the application that I recorded in, that I recorded this stuff in. I've ranted about this before. Game capture software sucks. And I don't know if it's just because my computer's overall, oh my God, what a big hit on Netches. But I don't know if it's because my computer's overall software uh, updated. I updated to the most recent version for my MacBook, which is what I record on. And I don't know if game capture just isn't compatible with this version or what, but Game capture has really been a headache lately. We've started this game off hot. We've made a blocker save and a couple of decent glove saves out of the air. And the Hurricanes have gotten decent looks on the net. Look at Seth Jarvis taking it right there to Merzlikens. Oh, that is that is not what I want to see. Okay, what are we going to do here? Oh, baby! Making saves on Bjorkstrand on a breakaway. I just, I just don't want to see that a whole lot. I went from being intimidated to being the intimidator. All respect to Dale Earnhardt. Oh my God, it is WWE time over there for Jordan Stahl. And now he's gonna have to throw him. So he went from wrestling to boxing now as he's fighting with, I'm not sure who this is. It could be Gud Brantz. I don't know who wears 44. No, it's Gavrikov. And right now it looks like Stahl might be getting the best of Gavrikov. He dodges one, dodges another overhand, gives an uppercut to Gavrikov. Another one lands. It looks like Jordan Stahl might win. This has been an even tilt between these two. Jordan Stahl, another dodge and uppercut lands. And Stahl, no takedown yet. There it is. I was expecting it to come. And Stahl defends his own honor after delivering a, a, what I thought was a clean hit and not worthy of a fight. But I guess you can understand the Jackets players. Gavrikov standing up for his teammate seven minutes into this game and it has been action packed no shortage a bunch of saves for us a breakaway a big hit in the corner and a fight haven't had any goal scoring and hopefully it stays that way on this end of the ice Boone Jenner one of my favorite names in the NHL with a great pass to Nyquist how many near breakaways are we going to see tonight I mean we are letting these guys get in well behind the defense. Up to Boone Jenner now, protects it and gets it in deep. We are so slow, but look at these breakout skills. Look at that. Blackwell, appreciate it, buddy. And Corrali with possession. Jackets again going right at it offensively early in this game. Where did that beat me? I'm shocked that McKay have just scored. I thought I was gonna have a surefire save. The cannon goes off. 
in the background. Let's see what happens here. We got the carry. I think this is Corrali or, or who this is. I don't know who it is. Pesci makes a good play. Gives the pass over to Voracek, right? Yeah, Voracek. He drops the puck to Mikheyev. That was a clever play by the AI in the slot area. And I'm already in the butterfly before the shot's released. So that's kind of a no-no. But, oh, are you serious? It It's right along the ice and we could have had an easy save but i look at the pad it elevates just enough at the worst possible time well ea doesn't show us replays but i've gone into the instant replay if you want to know how that went in even i was shocked how that went in i thought i had that covered off and i did if i just didn't elevate that leg a little bit to allow the puck to slide underneath picked up pesci's gonna be gone breakaway for defenseman number 22 brett pesci and he didn't hit the net. What kind of attempt was that? All right, well, the AI aren't the only team getting breakaways in this game. We've got one of our own, a defenseman. You know what would have been sick to see Brett Pesci do the old Merrick Malik move on that one? Watch this. Through the leg. Oops. Oh, are you kidding? <laughs> and Sonny Milano. He's got a wide open teammate. Penalty coming up to the Hurricanes. Delayed call. I'm assuming probably for a hold behind the play. And there's the touch up by Martin Neches. Yeah, and uh, you can see it there. Hold to Martin Neches. All right, well, we didn't get to see it. There's no replay available for that penalty, but Martin Neches, I don't know if I skipped it on accident, but he held someone behind the play. I can confirm. I'm just going to leave the camera right here for this faceoff. Yes, it's a little weird to see number 80 in a Hurricanes jersey. Looks like Kevin Weeks there in the net. That is why we wear number 80, it is the Kevin Weeks tribute, in case you're wondering why we wear 80 we're making a very good oh not a good play right there please or hopefully we do kevin weeks prep god i i just suck and there's the legendary cannon itself I'm just gonna go back to see exactly what happened just a small breakdown because ea doesn't give us replays jake bean from the face-off circle and i mean it's a short side how does this beat you first of all i mean how does this beat us first of all i mean we have got to be square to this oh he's it's like there's no reaction we are playing the angle perfectly there's not a lot of room over that blocker credit to jake bean for the snipe but how are you not making a save on that but that's a that's a bad one because i'm positioned for this there's a save to be made here, and it just doesn't happen. Two goals on 10 shots. Yeah, it's not going very nice for us right now. We're not ready for this level of play, and we're not doing Kevin Weeks justice with the performance right now. Oh, what a great try. How did he make the save on the bat out of midair? Slider adjustments, difficulty adjustments. It doesn't matter. It, it just doesn't matter. I really was feeling good about this game when we started because we were making the saves, and yeah, the first goal that we gave up sucked. But I was like, yeah, I'm pretty optimistic about the slider changes and everything we've done. But I have given up two really bad ones since the first goal went in. I don't even remember. Oh, yeah, the first goal. The first goal shouldn't even, even have gone in either. It was a little five-hole shot along the ice. Pray for me. Nothing's wrong. I just suck. So first period in, three goals against so far. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty much assuring you that that's not the only pucks that are going to get past me tonight we need to see 30 shots right now stop everything else that we see for this game just to get to 900 that's the emphasis right now as the first period comes to a fortunate close all three goals against right now are living in my head but man does that jake bean one really live in my head that's one i felt like i had the most control over and the game just didn't give it to me well, Brett Pesci leads the league in hits, so we got that going for us. And usually, if you lead in hits, it means you don't possess the puck as much. What a move by Ajo, a nice chance to get into open space, but no one's really getting into a prime shooting area. That's the best we can generate. Seriously, just contemplating going back to pro difficulty after this game finishes because we're not good enough. All-Star is definitely overwhelming for us right now. This series is supposed to be fun and entertaining, and I'm supposed to at least perform halfway decent. And we haven't provided any of that so far. So depth in the crease. I, I made the save. You, you cannot fault me for making the first save. And is he wearing yellow underwear? What is that? Well, I'm still here. Coach thinks this is my mess and I guess I got to clean it up. I mean, this is just straight insulting. This game it has been a complete insult to my face. Put on a happy face, guys. Put on a happy face.
I paid like 60 some dollars for this. I paid like 60 something dollars to get treated like this. They had a brief moment of boost for Jordan Stahl. There's the booze, they've kicked back in. Oh, the Jackets have cooled off a bit since that fourth goal. All right, you know what, this game's out of hand. I can't even shoot it on the net anymore. And again, I get stuck with Brett Pesci. Oh my God, a save on Corrali, miracle time. I'm just here for the experience. <laughs> I'm just here to get experience. It's like when you show up for a, a job interview and they ask you what kind of experience you have. You have none, and you're just trying to get some. That's what this game is. Oh my, deflected out of play. I was expecting to see that on net. Good defensive play by whoever that was. Oh my, that was through traffic. I like that we made the save. That's the part that I liked about that. I don't know what the Jackets are up to in shots. The Hurricanes are severely lacking right now, though, in offensive opportunities and execution. Scoreless right now. We got that first win in Edmonton, and I was really optimistic that maybe we could actually play pretty decent this year, even if we have, you know, a few bad games here and there. I was hoping we could be decent, but it has been rock bottom ever since then. And then we, we didn't need to make a save on that. We made it look really dramatic, though. Nyquist, the shot, missed the net. I don't know if it's time to hit the panic button. And hitting the panic button would be putting this on rookie difficulty. Guys, you're trying to deke on a breakout. Just make simple plays. When you're breaking the puck out, you don't need to do these fancy dekes. We, I just got scored on by Martin Netches. He just put it in my own net. That was not my fault. Have I been pulled now? Is that it? Is that the final straw in this game? in Columbus. No, I'm still in the net for some reason. So Wierenski down low. I mean, I made this nice in tight save. That was pretty sick. And then Martin Netches had to go and kick it. Yep. And it goes five hole. Look at it go right between <laughs> this game, this game, dude. Why am I still tending the crease? I guess this is a learning opportunity. <laughs> if this is a learning opportunity and I've had multiple learning opportunities, I haven't learned yet. I haven't learned a thing. I have learned exactly how to suck. Failure can be your greatest teacher. And well, I guess I'm getting an amazing lesson right now. The Hurricanes have generated a measly five shots to this point in the game. It doesn't get any more embarrassing than this. Why don't you just shoot at Sonny Milano? No, one second to go into the period. I shouldn't even come out for the third period. I should be sitting on the bench for the third period. Shots are 17 to five. That's not a joke. That's the real numbers. 17 to five in favor of, of course, the Blue Jackets who have five goals past me. You know, what time is it? Five past Vince. Uh, but anyway, <laughs> that joke is so dumb. Um, yeah, all-star difficulty. This is what you get. This is, this is basically what you get. It's time to drop it to, back to pro difficulty after this game. It's, this is too bad. This is awful. If pro difficulty doesn't work, I swear, hand to God, I'm going to rookie. Oh, I couldn't even see that shot from Wierenski as it went wide. Oh, yeah, get a paw on it and just play it. Hey, you guys need to go and learn how to shoot the puck. Drop pass. Slavin's carrying it in. Dishes a saucer over to Jarvis. Their first shot in what feels like an eternity. A literal eternity. Got dumped in again by Bjorkstrand. So I want to see this. Can I flip this the full length of the ice? Or are they just going to have the... Okay, I can flip it the full length of the ice. Listen, it's five to nothing. I've been scored on more times than I would have preferred. Our team isn't doing anything offensively in this game. I'm allow I'm going to shoot it down there. I'm going to have some fun. A blocker save from Wierenski. Hey, maybe I'll see some shots now. Blue line. Oh, what a move around the two jackets defenseman. Oh, I knew he was going to try that, and Slavin laid him out at the end of that play. And now Brett Pesci again. He's had the only breakaway for the Hurricanes in this game. A one-timer saved by Merzlikens. He's hardly had to do any work. Hey, listen, if I only faced about seven shots in a game, I could probably get a shutout. Actually, I should shut my mouth because I got scored on by that Jake Bean shot. Gus Nyquist is over, hands off, saved off. I think that was Voracek. I can confirm it was number 93. Oh, my God, I got lucky. You guys want to get that? Oh, how did that pass end up fired down on net like that? A, a very nice reaction from Merce Leakins. I don't see how I'm supposed to win a game with an effort like this, offensively and defensively. Another delayed call in the Hurricanes. And then here comes the Jackets power play to go score on me. Who took this one? Oh, it's a slash. And it's Sebastian Ajo, one of the leaders on our team. Not exactly playing like a leader on this occasion. Not that I care. This game's already done and over. There's a slash. I know there's still nine and a half minutes left to play, but the only thing left to do is just hit the showers, get on the 
on the plane or the bus or whatever mode of transportation we're using and get out of here with our tails between our legs. I know we don't really have tails, but just imagine if we did. They'd be between our legs. They've taken another penalty. Five on three for the Jackets. Who took this penalty? It's trip. And it's gonna be Jordan Stahl. Rage mode activated if I get scored on on this power play. Might as well. I mean, we haven't done anything all night. I'll be impressed if you score shorthanded here. We've drawn a penalty. Blackwell's decision actually has drawn a slashing penalty to Andre Kasha. Uh, oh, was it right as he was getting possession? I think that's when the penalty happened. Not a great replay camera angle. So we're going to play a little bit of four on three now. Well, a lot more space out there, which is just good news for the Blue Jackets. Oh, I didn't make a save there. It went right over the glove hand. It's five to nothing. <laughs> just... Go for offense. Go for it. There you go. <laughs> Expect lots of odd man rushes happening now. Shot from Bjorkstrand. Well, it was there. It was just blocked off the leg. Nyquist. Broken twig. That could be costly. Ah, Cylinder. He was suicide passed. And, and now we can transition this into an odd man play. And that's what you do with it, Slavin. Picked up by Ajo. Back to Teravainen. Just walking in. Tavo Teravainen. The Hurricanes have yet to get on the board. Drop pass by Svechnikov, kind of nifty, but it doesn't matter if you can't hit the net with the actual shot attempt. Well, what sucks is D'Angelo got hit at the point, and he was very slow getting up, which has made it difficult for him to get back. I hope we made a save on that. I really do. Oh, we got a mask save on that as I was out of position and got back just in time on the turnover. Look at this. Too much passing. It's just a passing-oriented offense. Our entire offense is predicated on passing the puck endlessly. Shutout coming for Merzlikens. You know what's going to happen. We haven't generated anything. We haven't been a threat offensively in this entire game. Thank you, Seth Jarvis, for your wonderful back-checking abilities. Pull the goalie. I'm just kidding. Uh, I'm just kidding. You could do that. It really wouldn't matter. It, it doesn't matter. You could pull it if you want to. Try and get on the board. Try not to get embarrassed by a shutout. Well, there's 13 seconds left. It looks like Merzlikens is going to do this. Uh, yeah, it rolled on the pad, and Merzlikens is going to get a shutout. I mean, not that this is any impressive feat. The Hurricanes hardly shot the puck in this game. No high danger opportunities. One more save for good measure. But, I mean, hardly any high danger opportunities. Anyone could have got a shutout with what Merzlikens had to deal with in this game. A 14-save shutout. Well, Merzlikens had a 14-save shutout. He saw 14 shots in that game, and... Yeah, we saw 24, and five of them got past us. It was just another embarrassingly weak affair. Just another normal night in the office, I guess. He asked me to be one of the three stars. I was, just, I was the first star in goals allowed. Yeah, I, I, made, I, I made that, but unfortunately, there isn't any, any actual media category for that. Coach Blake, I have really good news. I dropped the difficulty to pro. We're going we're gonna to have a, a much easier time with those, those expectations. Dude, we just played Columbus in Columbus, and I got to go back in and play Columbus in Columbus again? In the same episode. This is go all going in the same recording. Well, nothing like a chance to actually test the difficulty adjustment by playing the same team twice. So we're going to go back up against the Blue Jackets. No, your eyes do not deceive you. Yes, we are back in Nationwide Arena in Columbus. It's like we never went anywhere. Now you want to talk about Ballsy. The coach putting me back in the net in the same building against the same team that we just got shellacked against. This is quite the move. But this will be a good test to see. We're on pro difficulty. We are on pro difficulty, as we mentioned to Coach Blake, just to see if this works out better for us. We start off, you know, kind of hot, just like last time. The difference being to this game is that the Jackets are in their normal home jerseys. The Cannon jersey has been put away for this game. And maybe we have a better start this time. I want this game to go good. We almost get a goal to start with. Uh, several good chances, in fact. I don't know who's in the Blue Jackets net. It's not Merzlikens. It's a different goaltender because a different uh, set of pads on that goalie. Whoever it is, I can't tell you who it is. So obviously the objective in this game, score a goal for the Hurricanes. And then on my end of things, let's not give up five goals. Let's, let's try to give up. How about none? How does that sound? We are just whipping it around. And there it is. Sebastian Ajo, five, almost more, not even five minutes in, scores we did something we didn't do 
in the last meeting in Columbus. It's only been one game since then. We played New Jersey. I think it was at home. And then we're right back in Columbus. It's been like, uh, if you look at the real schedule, because this is based on the current schedule for the 2022-2023 season, the Hurricanes will play Columbus on the road. And then a week later, I think it is, we'll turn around and play again right back in Columbus. So, yeah, it's a bit of an odd schedule. And that's where we're at right now in the, in the schedule on the season. I was shocked I was given this start, to be completely honest. I didn't want to play the Jackets again. Playing the Blue Jackets twice in the same episode is very dull but i have no control over when i get given starts well we haven't even been tested by the blue jackets yet we haven't i don't think we've seen anything coach kaniami in and taken right to the house well, we're getting the opposite vibe in this game right now it's been all hurricanes with possession the jackets have hardly had any possession i actually don't recall if they have a shot on net yet and that one's blocked away slavin goes in to pick it up from way out of position Pesci over to Slave and down low to Svechnikov. Tees one up, and I think a save by the nameless Jackets goaltender. I don't know who's in the net for them. Having a difficult time just getting to the middle and unloading shots on the net. There's a deflection. Keep it in. Pesci, a great pinch. Down low to Sebastian Ajo. He almost makes it work on Corpus Solo. With the lack of action from the Jackets, this is going to be one of those games where I face like 10 shots at the most. And I probably have about two or three scored on me, and that will that alone will kill the save percentage. Just about one shot will probably kill the save percentage. Save rebound out to Jordan Stahl, who actually gets possession. Pro difficulty, see this is the thing, is certain difficulties, pro difficulty feels like it cheeses the game, and then all-star is just too difficult. There's no happy medium. Oh, I'm glad that missed the net because I didn't have the angle. Oh yeah, my angles, my uh, shot lane sheet is gone. I forgot about that. I turned that off to do a play now game and I forgot I turned it off. Right at four Jackets players, very bold, very brave rebound, but he didn't get to it fast enough. A good try and a penalty is coming up. It's gonna be the Blue Jackets taking the first penalty of the game, a hold to Gavrikov. Remember he was involved in a fight with Jordan Stahl in the last meeting in this building. There's the hold, he held up Code Kinyami behind the net. Well, power play time and just more opportunities for the Hurricanes to own the possession in this period. There it is, oh yes, and Tara Vinen makes it go home. I thought he was gonna get stuffed out from scoring on that one. It went right to him in a prime area with plenty of net to shoot on, so I would have been shocked if this never went in, but you can see the replay. He elevates it and right over the glove, I think. That angle is not the greatest. And now we scored two goals, doubled up on what we did in the last game. And the Jackets finally find a way to shoot the puck now. For a check, handed off, but interrupted by a great back checking play by Ajo. Caroline and back to Ajo, gets the return feed. A couple of great passes between the fins. Three minutes to play in the first period. Hurricanes have two goals, one on the power play, the latest of which. Net just a shot, maybe off the outside of the net, maybe off the outside of uh, Corpus Solo. Gus Nyquist on a charge for the Jackets, tries to get around the defense, but fortunately my defensemen are keeping that one to the outside, which made the save a lot easier. Jackets having a tough time just making a simple breakout execution. Boone Jenner should be kept to the outside. Uh, he tried to move on Pesci, but that was not happening. Uh, stole, uh, penalties coming up to the Blue Jackets again, another slash. And it's Gus Nyquist taking this slashing penalty. And it may have been a Seth Jarvis picked up that loose puck and there was the penalty. So we're going to go right back on the man advantage where we have had success tonight. Ajo to take the draw with 8.9 seconds. Jackets have possession. Jake Bean up to Texier. There's the clear. Will come out, but it doesn't matter. The period is over. And hey, I mean, I've had way worse periods. I'll take that. There's a goose egg on the board for once at the end of one. Well, this is very weird because this is basically a flip-flop of the last game in Columbus. The Jackets with two shots on the net so far in this game. It's going to be another one. We kick out Texier's attempt, so three now. And we have not allowed a single one of those three past us so far. And we have a two to nothing advantage as well. And we're going for more on the power play, but right into the nuts of Lorensky. So a great stop there. Svechnikov is wide on the break in. Tara Vinen picks up the loose puck, throws it off the blocker of Corpusalo. Lorensky with a clear. We'll just play it behind the net if we can get to it. Slow it down. You guys are not even paying any attention, are you? Boom. 
Oh, no one's there except Morinsky in the, in the center ice, but Tiravainen picks it up off a turnover. 30 seconds for the Hurricanes to go on the power play. Down low to Ajo, tries to throw a backhander on, and Gavrikov clears. We're here. I've tried this move plenty of times to no avail, but look at that to Ajo on the breakout. He took a big crunch. Jenner, uh-oh, Mikheyev's out off the bench. Slap shot save. Svechnikov brings it in. Final seconds of the power play. Ajo down low to Teravainen. Period, power, period will end. Power play will end. Ajo to Teravainen. All kinds of chaos is occurring right now in this game. Well, I don't envy Corpusalo right now. He's had to make some brilliant saves in this game. And it, he has kept his team in it. He really has. I think he's seen close to 20 shots by now. Here comes Jenner to Milano. It deflects in front of me. Hold on. Let's just slow the game down for just a brief moment. Milano is wide with the drive in. Picked up by Bjorkstrand. We anticipate the per correct side of the net that he was going to shoot on. So here comes the Jackets. Finally finding their way in this game. Maybe a little bit. Bjorkstrand getting a little creative with it. We're all over that, right on top of the rebound. The Hurricane still with offensive zone possession. D'Angelo works it over to Giordano, but a bad turnover as Sillinger tries to break it the other way, but of course we do a good job recovering defensively. Jordan Stahl blocked down, rebound fast behind the back pass to Jordan Stahl. This game could be huge for my confidence. It, it could also very quickly turn and break my confidence. Dug out by Jake Bean, who had the perfect snipe on me in the last game. I'm still embarrassed about it. This is my puberty phase of my career. <laughs> the backdoor feed? No. Jordan Stahl just airmailing it off the glass in the corner. Break in. The blue line break in. Kasha. Ah, uh, there's the shutout. I know. I got the butterfly and I gave up that short side. Easiest goal you'll ever score in your life. Hey, I just said it. This game could make or break my confidence. Having given that one up, I always give up the dumbest stuff. I do. I always give up the dumbest goals, and I can't help myself right now. <laughs> God. This game was going really good, and it turns. It took a dive south real fast. Empty net situation on a delayed penalty for the Jackets. I didn't even come out of the net because I don't care. Interference to Boone Jenner. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's still in the game. Why is the sinking glitch still in the game? Oh, you can actually fix the sinking glitch by pausing the game and going back into the game. Okay, well, I'm glad that that's been kind of semi-resolved. That's the best EA could do is just, you know, how about you just don't have it happen in the first place? I got it, Martin. I got it, buddy. Good news is a 900. Oh, is that flipped out of play? 900 save percentage is still in play. It is. Hey, look, it's two goals against. We faced 20 shots in the game as a total with two goals against at the end of it, at the end of 60 minutes. That's a 900 save percentage. I know I can do math, basic, simple math. We'll be lucky if the Jackets get the 20 shots by the end of this game. And I keep everything out of the back of the net as well. Hey, listen, the way this season is going, anything that is above season average on save percentage, Seth Jarvis with a snipe over the glove hand on the power play, so we're back up. But well, we're back up in the lead. This game was tied at two, but now we have the lead again. And anyway, as I was trying to say before Seth Jarvis interrupted me with that goal, anything above season average save percentage in this game is, is a bonus, is a plus for me. And like, that's very hard. I think the season average is probably almost below 800. Oh, tears of joy. I made a save, not tears of sadness, tears of joy. There's a fly on the television screen and it it's small enough. It kind of looks like the puck. If I give up a goal, if I give up a goal, I blame the fly on the television screen. Uh-uh, no, 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 no short-siders, not today. So if the Jackets hit double digits, that's about five shots a period. There, there's not much of a chance. That might put them closer to double digits, but I don't see the Jackets having much of a chance of putting, oh God, I don't see the Jackets having much of a chance of putting 20 shots on the net this entire game in 60 minutes of hockey. Nyquist again seems to be the one guy carrying the puck in for the Blue Jackets. No shot coming on that particular, no shot at all. How was there not a shot there? Over the blue line, spin move for no reason. All of that only to hand it right back over to us. And the Jackets have also taken a delayed penalty. There's the touch up. I accidentally hit X. I don't know what the penalty was for. I'm, I'm assuming it was a trip, uh, but we, we do know that it's a power play for the Hurricanes with 11.3 left in the period. The fans are going ballistic booing the call by the referee. The first peri second period, I'm sorry, is going to end in just a moment. Three seconds left. Slavin handles at center, stuffed off the puck, and that's it. The horn 
toward the end of the second period. I'll tally the shots on net for the Jackets and tell you all about it when the third period starts. All right, the third period's about to start. Jackets have 12 total shots on net. Two of them passed me. I don't know the exact save percentage, but I know that's not 900. So we need to see eight shots in this period, and we need to stop all eight shots. That's at a minimum, by the way. That's just the minimum we need to face. Gavrikov is going to get a... Oh, my God. you got to be kidding me. We didn't make a save on that? I... Oh, my God. Well, the cannon has gone off again. I was hoping to silence that thing. Well, Gavrikov gets it in the slot area, pulls up, turns around, and shoots. And it's just... He just finds a small gap on the blocker side, on the stick side. Well, the Columbus Blue Jackets have now three goals on 13 shots. Unlucky number 13. For me. Unlucky for me. And, I mean... There's no chance in hell we're getting to 900 in this game. It's gone. I mean, we won't see enough shots to get to 900. I'm just going to do whatever I want with this. See, we got the forecheck and the puck back and the retrieval. I knew what I was doing by flipping that out. Hard times make strong goaltenders. Strong goaltenders make Stanley Cup champions. And there's Tia Tony D'Angelo right off the post and in and that came on the power play i believe uh is there a jacket coming yeah it is on the power play so there should be a jacket player coming out of the box right off the face off win and there you go stick side just like the way i just got beat by gavrikov or whoever scored on me well we're back on top just the way we like it that's what she said <laughs> i'm glad i didn't get scored on that's the only thing i'll say about that well now that we've taken that lead back the Jackets look like they're men on missions. I'm just going to go and say it right now. Insurance might be a good idea because you got to remember, I'm the guy in the net and I'm not guaranteed to stop everything I see. Penalty coming up on a slash to Roslovic or on Roslovic. He's the guy that got slashed is what I'm trying to say. And a penalty coming up. It is indeed a slash. Jack Roslovic slashed by Brett Pesci. And the defenseman is going to go sit in the box. I think he's a penalty killer as well. So this is actually... A significant penalty for the Hurricanes. I heart somebody, but it was the, the thing was blank. They couldn't make up their mind who they heart. I heart stopping pucks, but not enough, apparently. Well, the Jackets, I think, are on their first power play of the evening. This can go one of two ways. Actually, actually, I don't even think it has a second way it can go. I think it's only going to go one way, and that is going to be miserable chaos for me because the Jackets are about to score on this power play, aren't they? Texier behind the back. I, yep. <laughs> God, I suck. I just, I was anticipating the shot and I dropped in the butterfly way too soon. Is one good start possible? Is it even possible to just have one good game? We're dropping this to rookie after this. Nope, don't care. I'm taking this penalty. I don't care. You guys are going to learn how to kill penalties. And it starts right now. Hey, I told this team they need to get some insurance. Going to learn today. This is the penalty killing drill. I'm putting them in a drill mid-game. And that hit the post. <laughs> I need to do as many drills as possible. Oh, I made a save on that. How do we actually stop that opportunity? Hey, listen, the penalties are because I want to get some shots, try to at least salvage some modicum of save percentage. No, no, you're not scoring on me. Okay, I got to get back in the net. Oh, other side now. I, I can't even make a routine blocker save look basic. Look at it through this lens. Look at it from this perspective. We've gotten shots on the net by taking that penalty. So it's allowed me to work on some things. And we're, we've killed it. Look at that. They learned how to kill the penalty. Yes, Fass is right out of the box. A little adversity. Never hurt anybody. It certainly wouldn't hurt me. Oh, my. That was like a weird pop fly, like a, a knuckleball, and we pulled it right out of the air. I'm sure we've got 20 shots now. The, the negative aspect is we've given up four goals so the 20 shots thing doesn't even matter penalty to the jackets and it is a slash yeah it's gonna be a slash that gus nyquist should i take a, a penalty in the corner to even it out when well, we're still trying to go for the win a, a victory would be a very moral victory at this stage here you go it, it, look that side's wide open every time goat i'm gonna get myself an assist well not now i won't uh, i got this here, oh, you didn't go long. That's the problem. You didn't go long on that one. Oh, he is stunned. Andre <laughs> Gosh, <laughs> stunned in disbelief. Look at that puck. It's on edge. And these guys are so slow to get back to it. Here, I got this. 
Look at that left side. A little bit short for Jesper Fast, but I still know what I'm doing. D'Angelo shot off of the goaltender. Up the boards, picked up by Netches. Oh, there it is. Low to high. It was available. Pistic will clear. I could take a penalty here. I'm not going to. No, no, no. That's my puck. My puck. My puck. This game is four to four. <laughs> I swear if this thing goes to overtime. Oh, that was that was close. Teravine and letting it rip. Svechnikov scores on the rebound with 420 remaining in the game. Blaze it. Well, maybe my saving grace has arrived. No overtime. I mean, overtime is also an opportunity to see more shots on the net. Also, if the Jackets pull the goalie, I could go for that empty netter. Well, pretty wild. Last time we were in this building, we failed to even score once. We've put up five tallies in this game. We're going for another one here. A minute and a half to go. I'd prefer to not hear the cannon one more time in this game. Here's the pass. Jenner, save. I can't get it, but you've got it, Giordano. Net empty for Columbus. So this is big moments in this game. I, I sealed that off, passed it off to no one. Wierenski is right at it. Save into the corner. Stolen away. The Jackets with possession again. Voracek, 10 seconds left in the game. Nyquist over to Roselvik. It goes in the corner. That should be the end of the game. But one more. Voracek is wide. And the game is going to end right there. We will get victory in Columbus. Well, it's not about being negative. It's about taking out any little positives we can. And the positive is the team won the game. And even though my line score dipped and we had an 809 save percentage, there's not a whole lot I can really do about that. I just need to be better. It, it, it just comes down to I need to be better. Hey, a win is a start. Did that say allow a max of six goals in the next three games? That's usually what I allow in one game. <laughs> well, we'll pick right back up with yet another road start, a game in Buffalo in the next episode. We got the two games in Columbus. You can go ahead and flush this episode down the toilet now. If you're still watching, I do appreciate it if you are still watching at this point. But uh, things, listen, things will get better. I promise things will get better. We just got to get that overall rating, that 71, way up there. And uh, when it does get up there, Believe me, this series will be worth watching again. <laughs>